There have been over 100 solar business failures in the last year. Contractor markups are 200 to 300 percent. These are just a couple of reasons why you should consider installing your own solar system. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can take control of your solar project so you can save thousands compared to working with a solar contractor. All right, so in today's video, we're talking about five reasons to install your solar system yourself. Uh, and the first reason, of course, is the high contractor markup on materials. Now, folks, I can't remember how many homeowners I've spoken to. They've gotten quotes from solar contractors for a full service installation. And then they go online and they search for the major system components and they find out that the contractor is charging 200 to 300% higher contract price than what the actual material cost is. Now, again, I'm not saying that the contractors are doing anything wrong here. Uh, professional contractors, commercial contractors have a lot of overhead and business expense that, you know, uh, a DIY or a handyman type of person is not going to have. I mean, you've got to carry, well, first of all, you, you just have your facility expense for your office and your warehouses. You have all your software and technology expenses, including your solar design software, which is very expensive. You've got your insurance expense. Now, this is one of the ones where, you know, when you're talking about insurance for a solar company, basically what you have here is you have employees who are going up and down a ladder carrying solar panels and then they're doing high voltage wiring on the rooftop. So from an insurance risk perspective, it's one of the highest uh, highest risk categories, if not in, in the highest risk category, as far as workers compensation insurance. Then of course you have to have insurance on your commercial vehicles, there's risk there, and all the various tools and equipment that go into putting together a solar installation crew. So ultimately all of these commercial business expenses get passed on to you as a homeowner in the form of a higher install price. Now again, I'm not saying anything's wrong with it. It's no different than if you were to hire a home builder to build you a custom home. Well, if you look at the price of the raw materials, you know, the two by fours and plywood and paint and nails and screws, yeah, they're, they're gonna charge you also about two to three times what the material cost is to give you a finished product with a warranty. Uh, but in solar, this is one of those things where if you're inclined and if you have some basic electrical and carpentry skills, you could probably do the majority of the installation yourself. Now, the second reason is the high business failure rate. For those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that there are over 100 solar business failures in 2023 alone. And so despite all your best efforts, checking online reviews, checking with the Better Business Bureau, checking with your state contractor licensing board, even if you do everything right in terms of how to vet your contractor, I'd say you probably have a, about a 50-50 chance of the, the company that does your original solar installation that they will still be in business 25 years from now so that they can provide that service through the entire term of the warranty. By the way, uh, if you had a solar system installed and the company that installed your solar system went out of business or went bankrupt, leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. Now, the third reason to consider installing your own solar system is the fact that the net metering programs are going away in many states. Now, when we talk about a net metering program, what we're talking about is your relationship with the power company becomes a two-way relationship. During daylight hours, you can power your home directly with solar power, and all of your excess solar can be exported or sold back to the power company, building up credits on your account. And then during the evening hours, you can just pull the energy back in that you need from the power company using the credits that you built up during daytime hours. And if the system is sized properly, it'll balance all out to zero. Well, that works great if the power companies are giving you a full one-for-one -one price credit. In other words, you send them a kilowatt hour of electricity and you can pull it back at the same price. But what we're seeing now in many states, led by California with their new NEM 3.0, is that now you have to send the power company four units of electricity for every one that you get to pull back. So that means it really kills your payback time in terms of doing solar uh, with a buyback program or, or how fast your solar system will pay for itself. So what a number of individuals are choosing to do is to install their own solar and battery storage system and configure the system for self-consumption. Now, when we talk about self-consumption, what that means is that you power the home on solar power during the daytime, you charge your extra solar power into batteries, and then you run the house off of batteries at nighttime, and then only as a last resort do you pull electricity from the power company. Only if it's nighttime and the batteries have drained down too low and you need more power at nighttime, okay, then you would pull from the power company as the electric provider of last resort. But with a self-consumption setup, essentially you are becoming your own utility and only using the power company as a last resort. It also means you don't need any kind of buyback program 
from the utility. It, it literally is just there as the last resort option. The connection to the electric grid is still there, but you don't care about buying and selling back and forth because you can just store whatever energy you don't use right away during daytime, store it in your battery, and then draw off the battery at nighttime. So no need for a solar buyback program. And so that also means that Technically, you don't necessarily have to file all the paperwork on your solar and battery system with the power company either. Since you don't need their approval and you don't necessarily have to have your local city or county do an inspection on the installation, it's one of those things where it becomes more easy to do a self-directed installation. Now, listen guys, I'm gonna tell you, even if you don't have to do inspections, and I know in certain jurisdictions, it's, it's, it's you know law, you don't have to do any kind of permits or inspections, but I would still recommend to have your installation done, have the final high voltage connections done by a qualified electrician and have the installation inspected. That way, if there's any issue down the road where maybe you have to make a claim on your homeowner's insurance, you don't want them to be able to say, hey, you, you know, you modified the home's electrical system, it was never inspected, that this could have caused a fire or, or something like that. So I do recommend to always have those high voltage connections made by a qualified electrician and have them inspected. But if we don't need a solar buyback program from the power company, that's another reason why you may not need to hire a high priced full service solar contractor. Now, the other advancement is the introduction of new all-in-one pre-wired systems that allow you as the system owner to purchase the equipment, both solar inverter and batteries, directly from the manufacturer. And you can basically stack up your battery inverter stack block by block and do all of those interconnections yourself only using the qualified electrician to make the final high voltage connection to your electrical panel. And that's a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, EcoFlow and the Delta Pro Ultra whole home battery backup system. If you're looking for a whole house solar and battery backup system that you can install yourself and save thousands compared to working with a solar contractor, then you need to take a look at the new EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. The Delta Pro Ultra is a modular, stackable, all-in-one solar and battery backup solution incorporating a solar inverter, low and high voltage solar inputs, LFP battery cells, and intelligent battery management system. The major components stack together like building blocks. A single interconnection cable between cells enables super fast installation. The owner can perform 90% of the installation himself, only hiring a qualified electrician to make the final connection to the electrical panel. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you wanna save thousands compared to working with a solar contractor, then you can go directly to the EcoFlow website and be sure to use the Solar Surge discount code in the description below. Thank you EcoFlow for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, the fourth reason you wanna consider installing your own solar system is the poor customer service. And I've gotta tell you guys, I've seen this, particularly with some of the largest nationwide solar installers, is they just have very, very poor online reviews. Uh, homeowners complaining about how difficult it is to get anybody on the phone during the installation process. And then oftentimes after the installation process, during this, this 25 year warranty period, homeowners complaining about just how difficult it is to get people to pick up the phone. I've heard stories from homeowners that they had to wait on hold for up to an hour just to talk to a live human to try to schedule somebody to come out and service their system. And then finally, the fifth reason that you wanna consider installing your own solar system is just having full transparency on how the system works and how it's operating. I mean, very simply, if you put the system together yourself, and we actually just installed one of these systems recently at my partner Dan's house in Central Virginia. In fact, we'll, we'll show you some of the footage here later. Uh, but if you install the system yourself, you know exactly how everything fits together, you know exactly how it works, you have direct access to the monitoring app, uh, and you can reach out to the manufacturer directly for technical support if needed. You're not waiting on your local contractor as the middleman. Uh, so again, as I said, we just installed one of these systems at Dan's house in Central Virginia. I gotta tell you folks, the installation on this one was super fast. I mean, we literally had the battery and, and inverter stack put together uh, in about five minutes and then was able to connect the system in via uh, Dan's generator port. Since the house was already wired for generator backup, it was just a simple matter of assembling the inverter and battery system, plugging in the generator cord, flipping the switch, and we were running on off-grid solar power. Here, we'll show you some of the footage now.
All right, so these have been the five reasons to consider installing your own solar power system. Um, as always, if you get good value from the videos that we watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering what you can pair with the solar and battery all-in-one systems, make sure you check out our video on top five solar panels for this year so you can consider which solar panels you might want to install on your roof or on the ground to pair up with the solar and battery system. Oh, of course, if you're a homeowner out there, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery options for your home, um, if you decided that a self-directed install is too much for you and you would just rather have a solar contractor take care of everything for you, um, then as always, you can reach out to us on the link below you can set up a call with a solar expert to talk through your different options uh, or just use the free online quote tool to see how much solar and storage costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.